Here are two tips for each character to help you move into auric missions. Veterans have the most consistent ranged DPS and the best skill tree to support a ranged heavy playstyle. Unless you're using Bolter, you are your team's main defense against ranged enemies, which means you should aim to eliminate them first and foremost whenever a fight breaks out. Ranged enemies can pose a serious threat to your team in large numbers, so you should do your best to thin out their ranks as early as possible, and you don't even have to hit all of your shots. Simply shooting in the enemy's direction will suppress them and force them back into cover, allowing your team the chance to push up and close the gap. While specialist gunners may be more dangerous than the normal scab and drag shooters, remember that normal enemies can still pose a serious threat in large numbers, and it is possible to have your toughness broken and dodges interrupted by a single ranged unit, so don't ignore them. Additionally, your grenades are valuable tools. Don't use them whenever you see a basic horde or a lone crusher, but save them for when they can best help you in a crucial moment. For instance, a well-timed frag grenade can help you secure a res, a crack grenade can save a teammate who's been grabbed by a chaos spawn or beast of Nurgle, and a smoke grenade can help you and your team push into cover when you're caught out in the open against a sudden wave of shooters. The time to use your grenades differ depending on which blitz you choose, and the above certainly isn't a complete list, so be sure not to waste your grenades and strategize when the best time to use them would be. While playing Zealot, you have both the fortitude to stand in the front line and the speed at which to get there, so don't be afraid to use both to your advantage. The most effective Zealots freely move across the battlefield to be where their team needs them the most. If their back line needs them, then they're there at their side, and if the front line suddenly needs them, then they will move there as well to offer their support. Simply put, as Zealot, the more freely you move across the battlefield, the more success you you will find. Additionally, your speed and toughness can also aid you in directly pushing into the enemy. While you can push with your front line to take on the enemy head first, it's often a better idea to instead push into the enemy's back line to force them to either flee or engage in melee combat. This in turn allows your team to more aggressively push forward and overtake the enemy's position without requiring your team to stay locked in cover exchanging fire with them for an extended period of time. Knowing when to push the enemy's frontline versus backline is a skill that comes with time though, as knowing how many shooters is too many to push isn't always obvious, as it depends on the positioning of you, your enemies, and the room you're currently in, so don't be discouraged if it takes you some time to learn. Boasting a larger health pool, higher stagger power, and innate damage reduction, there is no better character to hold a frontline than the Ogren. If you're playing Ogren, you should aim to be in the front lines as often as possible even if you're using a ranged build, as you won't only maximize your damage potential, but you'll also give your team breathing room to move up and support you. Keep in mind though, your size can be both a boon and a hindrance to your team, as standing front and center can oftentimes block your team from having clear sightlines. Standing slightly off to the side of hordes is the best way to mitigate this, as it will both make you the main target for their attacks while giving your ranged allies a clear sightline to support you. Additionally, there is no one better to help your tiny teammates rise back to their feet, as Ogrens have uninterruptible revives, so if one of your allies goes down, you should do your best to rush to their side to help them back up. Psychers have three unique Blitz abilities to choose from, and each of them allow the Psyker to fulfill a different role on the team. You might be tempted to match your Blitz ability with your weapons and combat abilities in order to best fit within a single role, but that can often be redundant. Instead, consider taking a different Blitz to help you fulfill multiple roles. In doing so, you become more flexible and have the tools to better assist your team in multiple kinds of situations rather than just one. For example, if you choose to run a Combat Axe and Surge Staff to focus on high single target damage, you may be tempted to pick Brain Burst. Instead, consider taking Smite to give you a crowd control option to use if things get hairy. 
Likewise, if you choose to run a Force Sword and Trauma Staff for crowd control, consider running a Sail or Brain Burst to help you with distant single target damage. Psychers are incredibly powerful, but they are the most powerful when they use their Blitz to diversify their options on the battlefield. Additionally, Psychers are best described as glass cannons. Despite their high damage potential, they have relatively little survivability and raw defense compared to the other classes, which is why you need to perfect your defensive melee combat skills to better protect yourself, including blocking, dodging, and shoving. In all honesty, it would take an entire video to explain how to best utilize these three mechanics to their fullest potential, which is why I can't do it in this video. Instead, check out my comprehensive guide to melee combat video to learn all about these and more, including terms and mechanics such as push block angle, dodge dancing, and dodge stamina. Thanks for watching, and thanks to this month's Patreons for their continued support. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Dark Tide content like this in the future. See y'all next time!